What's the thoughts of the Big Show oh, and Mark Henry signing with AEW, and do you have any stories from working with them? Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, what do I think about it? Well, I, I think Mark Henry, I, like I trained at Redcon uh, Gym, and all the time they always have the Arnold Classics and different strongman stuff up there, and I always see Mark Henry in there. So uh, he's a big, big man. He's a big, strong dude. Big Show is a big, big mofo, too, and a strong dude. So you got these two giant guys, but they're doing commentary. <laughs> so how the world spins, we were talking about this earlier, uh, wrestling and the sizes of change and this and this and that. And I'm not, by, by no means am I saying these guys are doing anything illegal. They are just big human beings. They're, 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 they're big creatures. So, so I say, like, I'm trying to picture watching them watch a five foot 11 or let's just say 600. Be, let's be kind and put everybody in a six foot, but they're not. They're like 5'11 and 5'8, some of them. Let's be kind and say they're 180 pounds, but some of them are probably 150 pounds. No offense, Jungle Boy. I love you, dude. I remember when I met Jungle Boy, I, I went in and uh, I was in a show. It, it was an eight, uh, uh, a Marcus Max promotion, APW out there. Uh, so I was in California, and I went in, and uh, I seen him, and I looked at him, and I said, you're like a Luke Perry-looking mofo, you know. Like He just looked down, and I go, what's wrong, man? He goes, that's my dad, you know. <laughs> that was a big, of course, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, right? 901020, so everybody knows who Luke Perry is, at least my age did, you know. So uh, where was I going? Mark, so, yeah, so, like, there, a lot of guys, are, like, no offense, he's a smaller guy, right? But that, so then you got, so this, let's just put him there on Marco Stunt, right? Let's just take two of them, two. Marco Stunt, yeah, uh, let's put Mark Henry and Big Show next to him. Let's see if they let's just assume they do an interview. <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> do, they, do they hold the, the and, and I love, I, the, get me wrong, man. Uh, Marco's a great dude, man. Him and his little brother, or older brother. I don't know which one's older, but the two brothers, I met their parents, great guys. And their family's great. Parents are supportive of everything in wrestling. So I met, I met them at a, one of the WrestleMania shows. I don't know if it's Black Craft or, or Game Changers. One of those shows that Marco about got killed on. <laughs> Every week you see him getting beat up. It's just like, you almost feel like you need to call the police or something because it's like this abuse going going on or something but uh picture that these two big giant monsters and these two little dudes uh, it's just it's, it's really hard to wrap my head around mark henry um i don't know what's going on he was uh doing that swe fury i was out there i don't know what shook down or what went down there but next thing you know he pops up a w what i can tell you about mark henry and i can tell you paul that big show is a nice guy and i spent some time around him but I, what i could tell you about mark henry is he loves wrestling. He loves professional wrestling. Maybe he didn't come into it uh, the way other people came into it, you know, the world's strongest man and stuff, great contract, jolted into things, learned on the job. But uh, he does have a passion, and he has a passion for, for the youth coming in, and, and, and not just wrestling, but just youth in America, uh, everywhere. And like, So like when, when um, now he's in AEW, but prior to that, I would talk to him, and say, hey, you want to come in for a show? But he goes, well, I would like to come in, but I want to go talk to some, like, pals and youth groups and different things like that. So we always wanted to do community stuff and, and work with the young ladies and, and, and gentlemen coming up in the world and coming up in, in, in this industry. So I say he has an amazing heart towards the youth of America and, and that he really, all his intentions are good. Uh, so I'm super glad that he's there. And uh, I hope, I hope that people... In the AEW talent and in the AEW the offices and, and the higher up anarchs, take some advice from from them. They've been around the block and back, and they've seen some things, so they can offer a lot of great things. But but if you're a young lady or gentleman, go to them, ask them some questions. While they're take advantage, they are just a fountain of knowledge because they've been around the block and back again. They have survived the war machine. They have survived that vicious cycle of pro wrestling. And uh, yeah, man. So no, what do I think of that? I think it's awesome. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I guess the wrestling years have come to an end, and now they've gone to the other end. It just, it just seems really, I don't want to say bizarre. If you like, can picture them next to Marco Stunt and, and Jungle Boy, you know how big these guys are, and that, that kind of that. But if you can get past that, um, I don't know. I gotta listen. I haven't listened to either either either's uh, commentary yet. I don't know if he's uh, done anything. I'm not sure with Mark Henry. If he's, a, I believe he's a commentator, right? So. Um, so I'm looking forward to it because I am going to catch up. Do not worry. Have no fear. I will educate myself and I'll give you some of my opinions as we roll on into the future.